15 to 20 years ago, home solar systems cost between $500 to $1,000, a steep price for most of Kenya's rural population. But that is changing today, as a trip into one of Kenya's rural villages revealed. According to Kenya's Audience Research Foundation, almost 70% of Kenyans are in the dark, which means that they lack access to power or can't afford a television. So that's why solar-powered gadgets are life-changing in rural off-grid areas like this village in Machakos. Wilson Mutune, a construction worker and a farmer, lives in this small village about an hour from Machakos town with his wife Elizabeth and his four sons. His village has never been connected to the power grid, but today he can watch TV, listen to his radio and charge his mobile phone using his solar panel. It is a difficult when you applying for the Kenya power. We have applied several times, but we could not get the, the, the elect, uh, connection to electricity. Sometimes you could not get access to what is happening in, the, in our country or what. Not like Nairobi when we were living there. We had access of our TV there, but now you are just like in the highlands. You could not know what is happening, where. But these kids can enjoy even in the daytime to look at the cartoons, whatever. She likes watching the aviation TV, whatever, even during the daytime, that is all. But me, just news, <laughs> evening news. In regions like these where a power grid is lacking, businesses like M Copa Solar have created entirely new strategies. The company's solar power system costs about $200 and includes a solar panel, two LED bulbs, an LED flashlight, a rechargeable radio, adapters for charging a phone, and now a solar-powered digital flat-screen TV. But how did they make it affordable? Well, they use a pay-as-you-go system in partnership with mobile services provider Safaricom's M-Pesa mobile money platform. M-Pesa makes this work on the one hand by uh, giving us the chance to collect money over uh, a mobile network. But on the other side, what we have is embedded GSM technology in every solar unit. So every home uh, that we provide with solar power ends up with a Safaricom SIM card inside that solar system. That allows us to switch on the system when people pay. It also allows us to monitor the system for performance. When we first came to this product, we looked at it as a transformation product. And so when Jesse and uh, Nick came to see me, I said, well, we have to do that. We'll probably never make any money out of this. But actually very rapidly, it turned out to be a very big pay bill customer of ours. And I'm not sure where it sits, but it's certainly in the top 10. This allows customers to sell solar power on a monthly, daily, weekly, or even hourly basis. Research by Bloomberg shows that the average off-grid Kenyan spends about $272 a year on energy, which includes $164 on kerosene, about $36 on charging a cell phone at a kiosk, and $72 on batteries. If they use solar power services like M Copa, off-grid rural dwellers are able to save about $750 over four years. Today, this market is growing fast, and a number of high-profile investors have backed startups selling solar panels to off-grid customers. Uchiyo Koronkwa, CCTV.